I am Ben Mbewe. I'm from Malawi. I work for a government department that has over oversight responsibilities over government owned companies, including water utilities. That's a big post. <laughs> and uh, in Malawi, uh, water and sanitation services are not centralized. They are managed by up to about five regional water boards. The general coverage of water in Malawi is about 70 to 75 percent nationally. However, in urban centers, it's much, much lower than that. For example, a water utility that is represented here, it's called the Northern Region Water Board. The water coverage is about 40%. But the sanitation coverage is much less. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if it goes beyond 20 to 26%. Um, the emphasis has always been to provide water. So the water supply element has overtaken uh, the development of sanitation services. Okay. This is obvious. And I think it, is, it also mirrors a lot of the other water boards. The emphasis now in Malawi is uh, to see if the two can catch up. For example, recently developed and uh, uh, unveiled a sanitation policy. Which, is, which has become a law, uh, and all utilities, water utilities, must provide both water supply and sanitation services. But it is a major challenge because it calls for a lot of investment in infrastructure. Uh, so, participation at this World Water Week is, uh, uh, is very, very educating, I think, particularly when you hear from institutions. Have you been able to make new friends and build partnerships yet? No, I'm not sure about partnerships, but they will develop, I believe so. Uh, but uh, definitely you're learning from those who have done it. Okay. Uh, best practice. I mean, it's very interesting to listen to Dr. Patak talking about the Sulab International. Uh, very interesting to talk about the water operator partnerships. Uh, so you learn about these things and find out how others are doing. Uh, so I think the World Water Week is a, is a wonderful forum uh, for exchange of views. Okay. Um, but um, Mr. Mbewe, what is government involvement um, with regards to sanitation? You also have, does government allow private um, people like we have in Ghana to also participate in the collection and disposal of solid waste? Yes, the government's role is to provide an enabling environment okay. and the legislation, which we have done. Okay. Now there is a sanitation law, just like we are saying people must have access to water. Mm -hmm. We are also saying they, have, they must have access to sanitation Thank services. You. Now, municipalities and cities must decentralize, or what do you call, must contract out the services. You see, you want to provide the best way of providing sanitation services to the people. So even the water utilities may not do it to themselves. They may have to call in for partnerships. Okay. I think that's where the partnerships yeah. issue yeah. comes in. That can be done in a way, in, you know, like uh, contracting out services. But the municipalities or the cities may wish to set the standards by initially providing the services themselves and then uh, subcontracting out. So there are ways of doing this. Okay, what about the attitude of Malawi uh, towards environmental sanitation? Yeah. Like, do they litter habitually or are they trained to dispose of their waste properly? I, I think we have a long way to go on that. You know, it's easier, I think, traditionally to discuss the supply of water rather than to discuss the availability of pit latrines and toilets. <laughs> so it's something that you've got to 
get your people educated. In. Okay. It's not a natural thing to discuss this because like we, we are discussing it freely here. Uh-huh. You can't yeah. do it. No, but in... now it's coming up. As I said, it, you know, like the passing of the sanitation law has taken time. Okay. So it's that discussion. It's creating that discussion. Okay. You should also appreciate that the education levels matter. Education yeah. levels of the, the general literacy population. rate. Correct. Uh, that matters. So we're slowly getting there, but I wouldn't say that uh, it's a, something that is discussed freely. But we're getting there. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. Sir.